In this snippet, we'll take a look at the gadgets within Windows 7's operating system. To begin, I'm going to go ahead and right click on the desktop and then choose Gadgets. Here are a choice of the default gadgets built into the operating system. Many of you may have seen some of these gadgets up through here. I'm going to go ahead and double click on Calendar. And what that does is it puts up a little calendar gadget in my operating system which kind of just tells me the date currently that's set for my computer. There are a couple other ones that we've got in here. I'll take a look at the weather is a popular one. I'll double click that and you'll see the weather comes up. Now this one here is one that you need to configure. Uh, this one is set by default here for New York and it's currently not where I am located so what I'll do is come over here to the it looks like a wrench wrench and it's the options and select that and I can go ahead and type in the city that I'm currently located in or you could also type in just a zip code uh, as well and it should be able to find exactly where you are my zip code and if I wanted Fahrenheit or Celsius I'll leave it as Fahrenheit go ahead and hit OK you'll see that it does reconfigure for the location you are and it's a one-time configuration that you'll need to do now if I wanted to add other gadgets that are currently not listed here what I could do is go to the Get More Gadgets Online link, and that'll take you to the website uh, provided from Microsoft that'll allow you to add more gadgets to your operating system. One thing to keep in mind when you do look at your gadgets is you want to make sure that it's from a trusted source. Usually, you can kind of rely on some of the more popular ones being uh, from trusted locations. And if you look here under these gadgets, here are the top downloads. These are ones that most people often download for their computer and you've got top rated ones as well as we go through here and of course I can search for more but I'll just go ahead and select uh, let's try this language translator and I'll go ahead and hit get now and what this does is it gives you a little bit of detail information about this particular gadget if you go through you'll see some comments written by people to see whether or not it's worth downloading and I'm going to go ahead and select the download button and um, it does give us this little warning letting you know that you need to trust this application because somebody could uh, have written code that may be harmful to your computer. I'm going to go ahead and select install and I'll just choose open for now. What this will do is download and open it up automatically and it's going to ask me to install it. I'm going to go ahead and choose install and now I'll minimize my browser and there it is so you can see this gadget has now been added to my list of gadgets and it is listed here under my gadgets it allows me to do uh, something so I could try typing in hello and let's see I'll translate it from English to let's just try Greek translate and there it is so it's a quick little translating gadget uh, so this is the Windows 7 gadgets